Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena. We're going to try a premier draft of Dominaria United now that uh, it's rotated out of Quick Draft. I could go play Midnight Hunt, but, like, you know, maybe I'll do that. It was a perfectly fine set. Nothing incredible or anything. Um, but I've been having fun with Dominaria, and I think I understand the cards well enough to draft them uh, with a timer. You know, I won't be able to think as clearly about what's going on, but... I can try to build a reasonable deck, I think. And it'll be, as I mentioned in a recent video, probably the last one, it'll be nice to see what's different in a human draft. Because um, the bots have a lot of biases that, um, that influence what kinds of cards you get. Whereas here, you know, The cards that are not drafted by players in a, in a bot draft get drafted by nobody, right? They just get thrown away. Here, like, okay, this card sucks. Phoenix Chick is good. Garna, I've never really taken it. Talarian Geyser is very good. I don't know what the meta is like in Premier. Are people playing aggro? Are they playing? I don't know. I think Talarian Geyser is just known to be very good. I'll take that. Sucks. Come on, give me a good rare, please. Um, what is all this stuff? The Bayloth or the Sprouting Goblin, I think, are both reasonable. Sprouting Goblin doesn't really... Hello? That's not the card I said to take? If I, like... Yeah, leave... Is this that, like, bug I've heard about that happens in Premiere? Where... Yeah, okay. The card that it shows you is not the card you took, and you should just leave and come back. I'll take the Linebreaker Bayloth, I guess. Um, the cards in a bot pool that are not taken by humans just get thrown away, which means what humans end up drafting is whatever bots don't want, basically. Ooh, Territorial Morrow, very good. Aaron, also quite good. Um, but there's several good green cards in this pack, which suggests to me maybe green is a little bit open, so I'll take the Morrow. Whereas in human, pretty much all the cards... 100% of cards in human drafts get drafted. They don't all get played, so the worst cards won't see that much play. But in a bot draft, let's say all the bots just thought we should take every white card we see. You know, that's not the case, but suppose it was. Then, when playing in Quick Draft, you just wouldn't see any white decks. Because the bots would have all the white cards, and players never would. Um, they have different, more complicated biases than that. One of which, I think, is they just always first pick rares, basically. Um, okay, I mean, I can take another Morrow. I'm a little, like... Scared that I'm sort of overcommitting to Domain when I don't have any evidence for it yet, but this card is just, like, great all the time. I could try Rada, I guess. It's another Domain card that wants me to be in red, and I feel like I've seen a decent amount of red going by as well. But Maro is easier to cast and also very strong. My last successful Domain deck was basically just blue-green with a, a tiny bit of splashing the other colors anyway, so... We'll see how this goes. More leech. There's a shore up. Vine wall would help a lot with domain. So would both of these cards. I think I'll just take the blue green land. I haven't seen a ton of evidence that like blue is open or anything, but I'll want land splashes anyway if I'm going for domain. The shore up being here this late is, I mean, it's not an incredible card, but it is decent. Fine Wall, I think, is also a very reasonable pick. It would work well in any green deck, where this is kind of better in blue-green. But I just want to take a land. I mean, it's certainly better in blue-green. Um, but it's a, a little bit useful in... in any deck, because of, like, domain stuff, right? Well, if we end up running domain, anyway. Academy Wall, Maria's Outrider, 
another blue green land i think i should take the outrider we've seen i mean this is a strong card and it's gone i've this is the second one i've seen so we might well belong in green red domain which is kind of aggro to mid-range sort of domain deck i think we haven't seen much good blue go by. There was the geyser in pick one, and since then, not much. The blue-green lands are a little, a little interesting, but they're not like strong evidence or anything. Could take a stall for time, but I think just like colossal growth, maybe. It's kicker red, which is cute. Um, I mean, I guess I would be taking gardener if I thought I was going to run a ton of colors, but it, I don't know. I could also, like, say, hey, maybe this whole green thing isn't working, but I think it is. I could take a stall for time, right? There have been a fair number of white cards going by. But I don't think I have any good green-white stuff. I'm just going to take a Colossal Growth. Okay, here's a red-green, yeah. Oh, these, these are some decent blue cards. But they're very late, and so is this. Like, I, I, okay, I'm going to take the red-green one here. That looks like the direction we might have to be going in. I'll take a Fire Nato, I guess, over Scout the Wilderness. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Scout the Wilderness would help for Domain, but I don't think it's right in this kind of deck. A Worm is all right. Aaron's gone round. Molten Monstrosity is pretty good. Sentry is a little big for my tastes. I don't know, I have plenty of big creatures already. This I don't like that much. Landward Green Widow, 3 mana, 4, 3, Reach Trample, Domain, makes it cheaper to bring it back from the graveyard once. Okay. Strider's a good blue card, but that doesn't seem like the lane we're meant to be in here. I'm just going to take the Great Green card. It's only 3 mana for a 4-3 Reach Trample as well. Um, eh, I don't think the whole domain thing is working out that great. But Vine Wall seems so stupid in a red-green deck. I think let's take the green-white land. So that my domain cards get a little help. Lies Acolyte is pretty strong. Strength of the Coalition is decent. Lightning Strike is removal, though, and I don't have any of that yet, I think. No, I have a Fire Nato, which is not very good removal. Ruwala, also good for Domain, I guess. But I think I'll take the removal. There's some chance Ruwala comes back, although I guess it's not very realistic. Queen all in all, not really my thing. Another worm would be okay, but what if I just took, like, another green-blue land to make it easier to run Talarian Geyser and stuff? I think that's probably the way to go. And, like, it, it has domain. It's, it's fine. I have several domain activators. Or did I end up not... I have the... Yeah, I have two Maros and the Outrider. I didn't end up taking the red-green uncommon in the... Uh, earlier in the pack. I got this one, but there was another one that cared about Domain, which I didn't take. What the heck? All these blue cards. Um, I mean, Zaro Janin is like... I might get enough white to run it, I guess. I could take a red-blue untapped land, but I don't think I want... Well, maybe I do want that, but this, this could be playable. Let's put it over on the side for now, along with my other blue card, or my blue card. Joint Exploration, Strength of the Coalition. I'll take a Strength of the Coalition. It's a good kind of finisher sort of spell, slash combat trick. Guy's Might should be good. I don't think I'm building a very good red-green red deck. This is not a deck type I have experience with, and... It feels like I've got way too much big stuff and not enough little stuff somehow. I also don't know if I'm doing 
like prioritizing the domain kind of stuff right or over prioritizing it or who knows what. Yuck. Um, citizen's arrest. Maybe I'm still supposed to be in white. I don't think so. Wow, look at all this blue stuff still here. All right, I think it has to be another fire NATO. I don't really think I can switch to Phyrexian Expedage or Scatter. It's just so out of my current set of cards. I think Slimefoot Survey is very bad. It is kind of like a very strong domain activator though, so. Shalai's Acolyte still here? What? Bots would never do that. I'm a little surprised people have. I don't think I want Smash to Dust, but, you know, you have to take something. Queen Alanol. Man, Green White has been pretty cool, I guess, huh? I'll take the Soaring Drake over Thrill of Possibility, I think. No, because it's, it's useful to have a little draw. I might actually want this. And I don't think it's very likely that I'm going to run any serious blue cards. Oh my god, Defiler of Vigor. My hero. They can't take the good cards if you open them. I didn't look at what I passed, which I probably should have done. But this is like one of the best cards in the whole set. Did I accidentally cut something there? I don't think so. I think one thrill of possibility is probably fine. I thought I had two Elfame Worms. I guess not. The Fire Nados are next on the chopping block, I think. What the hell is this? Horrible. Baird? I have some white, but I don't think that's a good enough reason to run Baird. I just want, like, a green or a, a two or three drop, basically, because I have way too much big stuff. An Enlister should be nice, I think. I'm not aggressive enough for Kavu at the moment. No Defilers of Flesh for me. Bite down, great. Solid removal. The other options are like Guy's Might or another Green White Land, but I really need Bite down. So what is this card again? Yeah, so it either, what, what, it's a four mana, three, three menace. When it attacks, it either ramps or makes a 1-1. One, one. Right. Give me my packs. Uh, two mana domain trampler seems incredible. Molten monstrosity is good, but I really need this. I don't, at the moment, have any way to get Domain Black, and that's perfectly fine with me. Oh man, another Queen all, all Oh, another Bite Down. Over a 3-mana card? Kind of a fun little finisher there, huh? Give everything Menace. But uh, removal's the way to go. What is all this stuff? Nothing. Oh, I don't think I would want a third Fire Nato. I'm already cutting the ones I have, so I guess a Bark Weave Crusher. So I'm not. I'm not going to splash blue for any of this stuff. Thirteen green cards, seven red. It seems like I maybe could have managed to be in green blue instead. There's been some good red stuff, but not really enough. I think I was. Maybe wrong, but I, there was no good blue either. 
I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there. I'll take a one mana haster with kicker in my colors. I'm I'm clearly right to be in green. And red doesn't seem like a disaster. It seems like white has green white has probably turned out to be a better place to be. Ooh, Linebreaker Balos, nice. Well, except it's so big. I don't know, I have the Defiler of Virtue, <laughs> I guess, or of Vigor. The Hexbane Tortoise is not a good card. It might be what the deck needs, but I'm not smart enough to know it. I already have a Sentry, don't I? Yeah. Another guy's might should be good. I don't know. Draft the uncommon. In case I'm like getting uh, gems for it or something. I'm not keeping track of my collection size. All right. Well, I mean, that's a deck. Um. It might not be 100% insane to put in the Talarian Geyser. It's a pretty nice tempo play. And it would give me something to do on three if I happen to have one of my lands for it. I don't think it's actually a good idea. So my domain's only gonna be two or three most of the time. I might get lucky and hit four once in this draft. Well, more than that. But while also activating a domain card, I don't know. My problem is I don't have like any ramp and I have a bunch of gigantic creatures. All these five drops. I needed more like cheaper stuff. Well, I got, I got some twos, but a lot of it is removal. Especially removal that only works if you have creatures is gonna be not so easy to use if you don't have creatures. Um, yeah, I feel like this did not work out that well. But I don't think I can improve it with... Um, the card pool I have now, right? I guess I could put in a sentry, put in some of these four mana cards and take out some fives. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like the fire nato, I probably don't need. The um, Elfheim worm, it is nice. Mary's Outrider. I mean, my domain is enough that this is going to do it. It's probably just not going to do that much, actually. It's just a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four reach, and I have right here a... Th sorry, a 5-mana four 4-4 four reach. I have right here a 3-mana four 4-4 four reach. It does a little damage to the enemy's face, but I don't think I'm quite aggressive enough to really benefit from that. And now we're running, like, a lot of green, which helps with Defiler of Vigor. That's, that's like, going to have to be our big win condition, is, like, getting to Defiler of Vigor. I don't know. Territory Omaro might be okay, but... Like, I expect by the time I can play Maro, I'll probably have a domain of three fairly often, and there's a five mana 6-6, six, six, which is good. I might get lucky and have four, but not often. So is there a five I can take out for this? My deck is pretty heavy, and I don't have much of an excuse for it. Like, Linebreaker Baloth would be maybe a good cut. Or the Elfheim Worm. I like this creature. It's got Trample. But... I don't know. Yeah. These are not good four drops, but I just need slightly cheaper stuff to curve out properly. Okay, and we have eight red sources and, what, nine green sources? Plus some random splash stuff. Do I have anything that wants white or blue?
Obviously, there's domain, but like, is there anything else? Yes. Strength of the Coalition wants white, so that might happen someday. All right. I mean, I definitely have my doubts on this one. This is, as I said, not a deck type I know how to draft. Or that I have drafted even once while playing in quick draft. And I don't think we have enough cheap stuff for sure. Like our, our two and three, turns two and three are going to be really bad a lot of the time. Uh, oh, I don't have anything I can play. I have to throw this back. Like, I have some four mana cards, but I only have three mana. Two mana, even. I'm on the draw, but I think even then this is too, too risky. Okay, I mean, this plays something on turn three, which I guess is going to have to be enough. Bite down is a punch, so I guess I'll throw back Gaia's Might? And hope that this can remove their stuff. Well, maybe that's overcommitting. This way I can like play it, and if they try to remove it, I can maybe keep it alive with Gaia's Might, and also remove a thing. Blue-black instance. I do have a 4-3 reach, I guess. And my domain is already 3, so this is only 5 mana to bring back. Oh, <laughs> it's on the bottom of my deck, I see. Rude? Alright, well, I have another creature. Thing is, this doesn't block the flyer, and if they cast instance or sorceries, it doesn't block the little dude either. It has bite down though. Or... Okay, so they weren't able to. Cast an instant or sorcery usefully. I'm gonna wait on this. I'd like to bite down the flyer and do so without using Gaia's Might. So I'll like attack and listing and then punch. Gross. Ah, all right, now I don't have to do that even. This is an instant. I could do it on their turn. I don't think I should. Well, what if they have Shore up? I'd rather they spend the mana on it next turn. But if they have a negate, they're not going to run negate, right? But, but, they might have like a plus one, plus one pump of some kind, right? Although in blue-black, it would really just be Shore up. So I guess I should wait till their turn to do that. Um, I could enlist either of these, but it just runs into a 0 5, so I won't. I can also sack this to blow up their wall. I do not think that's a good idea. Is it? Oh, it's not an artifact. You would think it was, but it's not. Okay, I mean, that's a creature.
right, I'm fine with that, I guess. Okay. So this is something they could have used to save their flyer if they had it, and I did have it in mind as a possibility. Um, but, you know, can't, can't win them all. At least we got to kill the flyer. So I, I mentioned this because, like, letting them untap risk them using this to save their flyer. And I thought the odds were not that high that, that anything bad would happen. It was more likely that they would have, like, shore up, in which case they could survive either way, but I wanted to make them spend mana on it. It's pretty scary. This doesn't give Trample or anything, is what I was checking. I mean, we're looking dead. I'm not dead yet, obviously. Like, this worm, I can, like, use Guy's Might on it or something. But it's looking grim. If not for the flyer, I think I might be okay. So I guess my decision to keep Gaia's Might instead of Bite Down has really cost me, right? Because I could have this removed and... Well, but th then I'd have a, bu a bunch of trouble with this thing, I guess. Hmm. No, I could double block it. I don't see any way out of this, right? I can play a mountain. That's cool. I could enlist and attack as, like, 8 damage, but they're just going to, like, let it in and laugh at me. So, I think we just do nothing. Okay. Well, they're trying to attack with the 7-7, seven, seven at least. That's something we might get away with. In fact, it's just one blue mana. I don't think they can survive Gaia's Might. But we're dead, like, next turn if they have an instant or sorcery, or in two turns if they don't, which is not a good place to be. Uh, I can't really attack with anything, because if I attack with this, yeah, I mean, they're just going to let it in, right? So... I don't know. I could attack with an 8-5. Doesn't do anything. We just have to hope to somehow draw two pieces of removal that the deck doesn't have next turn. Three pieces of removal. <laughs> Should have kept the land. Okay. Not that it helps. Oh, we're still dead. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what you kind of expect to happen to this deck a lot, I think. A fairly weak early game into, like, no comeback cards. The mulligan hurt, of course. All right, this looks pretty playable. Lightning Strike on two. I have a three. That's pretty good. I could Lightning Strike that, except I had to click the path throughout, so I couldn't. But it's just, like, not an important creature. I don't, if they need mana fixing, whatever. You can have it. Turns out they needed it, but I'd rather just shoot the Ruwala, right? I was about to play Tap Land, but it turns out I can play a creature and Lightning Strike. Uh, I guess I attack here, holding up Lightning Strike if they try to block. Get me a two for one. They won't, of course. It 
The three mana two three is sort of weak, but it's about to be a three three. Ooh, I like this. Doing nothing. More mana, mana workers. Wow, they're not just running like they're running domain with the plan to. Oh, hang on. Now, if I play land, I could actually get a four five. I was gonna play tap land to get to a, get three damage in, but I think it's more important to develop a four five than to get in one. Well, three damage. Cause I'll get zero if I actually. Let's try attacking both here. Okay, there's some chance they didn't block. I'm not going to use Strength of the Coalition to kill that. It is now a 5-7. So if I kicked this, it would be a 4-5 and it would still die. So... It turns out playing the Tapland would have like worked here, but that's fine. Um, they traded Gaia's Might for my creature. Oh, it's a two mana two three. I thought it was three mana. For two mana, even a two three is fine. Although I'd rather it be a three three. Ooh, no plays at all, huh? And I top deck like a genius. Uh, should I enlist? No, it gives them too good a block, right? If they try any tricks, I still have strength of the coalition to like do something. Okay, that is not something I can do anything about. And I don't get to bring the spider back either. But I think they're going to wish they had used it on the morrow. How did my opponent get to be at six? <laughs> I feel like I just like attacked a couple times and they're like dead already. Uh, yeah, attack all. There's no reason to enlist. And they're tapped out, so no combat tricks are working here. Alright, we had a much better early game. An opponent just had a ton of mana problems, I feel like. They tried to draft Domain too aggressively, would be my diagnosis, if anybody asked, which nobody so far has. Um, they're not just, like, running lands of a bunch of colors. They're trying to actually play spells of a bunch of colors. And I mean... It's kind of weird, right? Like, what is their hand? Is it all white cards? Is it all five mana spells? I don't know. Very weird. But they even got this to like pick the card they wanted to draw, right? I think they must have had. I, I, it's a mystery. I don't know how their hand could be that. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So I can't. I don't know if I can say they drafted domain like too many different colors or what. That's. When that happens to me, that's, <laughs> that's what I did wrong. But maybe something else went wrong to opponent. Maybe they were like a main white deck, splashing all these other colors, and they just never drew any of their white. Seems unlikely, but it could happen. Grimshawi? Grimshaw I? I don't know. I have my good three mana card again, and I have Thrill of Possibility as something I can do on two, perhaps. If I, like, draw too much land or something. It's not a good opening, but it does have the Green Widow. Do you say, like, the, the spider, right? Black Widow. That's a famous kind of spider in at least some of the world. Um, I know as a kid that, like, we were always... I assume this was, like, kids over-exaggerating, right? Like, you, you should be terrified of Black Widows. If they bite you, you'll die in a second. You know, stuff like that, right? Obviously untrue. Um, and I, it's, a, it's a regional thing. Like, I know in England, for example, the spiders they have are just... They don't have any big scary spiders. Spiders are just, like, whatever little little dudes that, that don't hurt anybody 
And in America, that's like mostly true too. Um, just in case opponent decides to counter my thrill of possibility, I'd rather they didn't. I don't think they're going to want to do that, but there's no reason for me to wait. Nothing else I could do this turn anyway. And no sense bluffing like a lightning strike or something. They're just going to play out their creature anyway. Um, it's, you know, spiders are not really the leading cause of death in America in any way that I'm aware of. Um, but anyway, the point is, like, Black Widow. Do you guys, is that one word or two? I feel like it's, it's two words, right? And the same is true of, like, the Marvel movies and the character, Black Widow. It's, like, two words, both capitalized. All right. You got me. So now I sort of wish I had that land back, but I still think it was right to throw the land away instead of a spell, because... I, mean, I don't know. I could have thrown away Colossal Growth, I guess. Maybe that would be what a better player would do. Anyway, I'm just surprised to see that Green Widow... Discard two cards while I'm getting a chance to throw that away. How nice. Um, opponent is Grixis. Do I really want the bite down? I feel like I just want more creatures. But yeah, dumping that land has turned out badly. If I'd thrown away something else and kept a land for now. Oh man, really? I can't kill that. Okay, that's good. Um, I guess I want a 4-4? Four, four? Yeah, removal time. Land would still be good, but I do have one more play I can make before that, even though this doesn't really work very well against uh, their creature. Although if they attack, I have a pretty good counterattack, so maybe they just... Mm, lightning Strike? But if I'm lucky, maybe this gets to like do some cool stuff. Does it come in tapped? Yes. All right, we got him thinking. This five mana four four kind of stinks. All right, are you gonna attack? I think it's it's close, maybe. Good, good. Um, I could shoot this with a lightning strike and get in for potential ramp, but I think I'd rather just like play a big old creature. I could attack first, but there's no good way for Lightning Strike to trick them, so that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. No attacks. Okay, I'll trade this for your combat trick, I guess. Oh, you don't have to have a combat trick for that. I see. All right, hit me. You only got one card left. I have a good counterattack. Oh, domain card, huh? That's interesting. Yes.
Now I can play the Green Widow and the Lightning Strike on the same turn. That would be kind of cool. Oh, or just play another one of these. All right, so... Lightning Strike on their 2-3 and then, like, a massive swing seems insane. Okay. Oh, wait, what does this card say? Look at it, you may, and then you could otherwise, like, make a 1-1, one -one, so... There could be some world where you have a, a land on top, but you choose to make a 1-1 one -one instead. But I'd rather draw a card than make a 1-1, one -one usually. This is... It doesn't say only as a sorcery, but I'd rather just play this anyway. There's no board clear big enough in these colors. I don't think it's... Like, the biggest board clear is a red one that does 5 damage to everything, so the Maros are fine. And the black one... Oh, that's not true. Black would be 1, 2, 3, 4... Black would also be minus 4, minus 4. So I guess, I don't know, they could play a green-white land and then drag to the bottom and kill all my stuff? It seems unlikely. Hmm, so why did we win that game? Obviously, like, in the end position, my board looks insane. I guess, like, opponent just didn't do enough early, right? They removed... Well, no. They countered my 3-drop. Good for you. And then they sabotaged two of my spells. And then they finally played a 4-drop, which got in a couple hits. But at that time, like, my deck was already online. If, if the game makes it that late, I'm, like, reasonably happy. Also, I threw away all of my instants and sorceries. That helped. <laughs> uh, except the lightning strike, which was good. Huh, well, I don't know. I felt like that game wasn't going that great until we turned the corner and suddenly it was going pretty great. I guess that's the difference between, like, red-green and red-white aggro is, like, red-green is more mid-rangey and the middle of the game can actually be in your favor, whereas with red-white, you're usually happy if the game doesn't have a middle. It just has a start and an end. <laughs> um, certainly I've played red-white decks where, like, yeah, I'm on six mana, I have useful stuff to do, but usually you'd rather not get there. 11.91. Oh, this is, like, the best starting hand I've had all draft. I have a one and a two. It's incredible. Um, the Morrow, I mean, is going to take a while, but it's nice to know I have something to do eventually with more mana. Okay, opponent's mulliganed, which is great. Red-green also. I've drawn my three drop. This guy is like my, my best bud. He's showed up all the time. Red-green and black. So it could be more domain... Could just be like you know running several colors you never know but i assume if you're doing this like you probably have some domain payoffs there's enough in the set that most decks can get a hold of some if they want and running three colors you probably want some lightning strike is fine i don't care go for it i would love it actually because then you're not hitting the widow but I, okay it means they're using their mana effectively okay reward also fine Raider's a good card. Now, I could attack... Oh. I don't have to, like, use Colossal Growth. If they block, I just get this trade. So there's nowhere, no way they're taking it. I just get the one damage for free. Oh. Okay. Well, they, they slowed me down, but I got to trade up. I mean, I don't know. It's not exactly trading up, because... Their Rager drew a card, right? So it two for one to me, I guess. Still no blue, so I'm not worried about counter spells. 
Could play the Green Widow, rather spend my mana efficiently. Okay, Scry 3, draw 2, pretty cool. They didn't take a Swamp. Well, that doesn't tell me too much. Oh, very happy to have this. Although, <laughs> my 5 mana card is just a 4-4. Four, four. Plus 3, plus 3 is enough for this trade to work, so... I think I just play out the Green Widow and hold open a combat trick. Ooh, nice to see them tapping out before combat. Or not tapping out, but spending most of their mana. Okay, so they're not going to combat. Fine. These do nothing right now. Hey! Uh, do I attack with a 6-5? I think that's fine, because I can still play a 6-6 six, six to block. And if they try blocking, I have sufficient combat tricks to make them regret it. Right, I could kick this and make it a 10-9, a which completely wipes them out. They're not going to. Great. All right, let's play another big green dude. Okay, hit me. I don't care. I'm not blocking. Do I look like an idiot? I mean, you can hit for nine if you or eight if you want. I really could not care less. It's a lot of three threes. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, hmm, I do care a little now. Because now, like, there's a serious possibility I could just die if I attack with too much. I can also threaten to kill them, though. Right? I think I might be right to attack with everything. They'll block a 6-6 here, but, yeah. Or not everything, but enlist and then attack with the rest. So do this, I think. Because I can give this, tra I can give stuff trample and haste. Actually, hang on. No, because a two three doesn't do anything. Or, or a two five rather. Oh, I can kick this if I want, can't I? Interesting. Although I can't also give something trample. later, I guess. Yeah, that was a good race. I liked it. <laughs> swing at them for six, they're like, I don't care. They swing me for eight, I'm like, I don't care. Swing back for a billion and kill them. That's how it goes. Who's next? The science. Oh, I've always wanted to check out the science. Oh, 
Magic the Gathering. Uh, seems pretty good. I have a two drop, and like maybe I can play a four drop. Would be nice. Ooh, Amara's gonna be happy about that. Hey, look at this! It's a mirror. We're even playing the same lands. Oh, who knew this was in the deck, huh? That's gonna be insane on turn six. I could play it on five, I guess, but I'd rather play tomorrow. Mm, I would trade these. And I want the two damage. Great. No tricks. Okay. I mean, it's going to do two damage to this. I think I'd rather it live. Oh, I could have waited. I didn't realize that they hadn't yet chosen the... Uh, I should have waited for it to enter the battlefield. I would have slowed down their draw and discard thing. Or slow down how soon they get the dragon. Yeah. I should have made them think they were going to kill it. Definitely a mistake. I think I want to attack with a 4-5. Half everything else seems fine. A 4-2 also might be reasonable, but it trades with this, which I'd rather not do. Yeah, if, if that saga had been on the battlefield... If it didn't have read ahead, obviously what I did was fine. But it does have read ahead, and they hadn't yet committed. I needed to let the spell resolve, make them choose a number, and then either buff this or don't buff it. Probably buff it. I assume they would have been happy to try to kill this. I'm a man short of getting to play both of these. No, I'm not. Oh, I only have one red. Okay, play this first. Well, play this, I guess. It's all I'm playing. says trample it doesn't have enlist in the past i've enlisted this often i don't really know like why but it made me think hey does this card have enlist it doesn't they want to hit me for a lot i'm okay with this trade i think yeah it's fine if they have a trick i guess that's life Nice. For them, obviously. So, they have a four in the air, which means I can't let in two creatures. That's fine, though. I can play this, I guess. And I guess I need to hang on to this. Playing it as a 1-1 one -one is not as good as playing it next turn as a 3-3. Three -three.
It looks like I'm behind this game for sure. I might somehow survive, but it's not looking great. And if I had four more life, I think I'd be in pretty good shape, which, you know, I cost myself four life by getting this trick wrong. Yikes. That's really bad. Okay, I will trade again, or try again to trade. Wow! Okay, uh... That's really good. Because now I can shoot that. I'm still having trouble with this guy, though, huh? I guess I'm double blocking it next turn. No, I can't do that. So I have to chump this? Feels pretty bad. But what else can you do? Oh, they were worried I could pump this. I see. And they figured they had the game locked up next turn. Very good news. They have two cards, so I'm still, I think, behind. But it's a lot closer than it was a second ago. When it becomes tapped. I mean, this threatens lethal. I assume they're going to... Hmm. Yeah, just chump here, basically. But I, I can't do better by enlisting or something. What is their domain, anyway? Three? So it's only going to pump these two. And they have to block with one of them. Okay. Okay. So if they attack all, I can bounce here and take three. I don't see how I could possibly need this. Let's make them afraid of combat tricks. Like if I draw Marrow, I can just play this then. I don't have anything that needs blue. I don't have any seven mana spells. Oh no. That's really bad. But I do have a 7-7 seven seven that's attacking every turn, I guess. So there's something to that. I should give them maybe expensive spells? Oh no, okay, so hang on. How does this all work? They have three mana, maybe four. This costs four... I don't think I can give them the Enlister, it just is lethal, so that has to go back in the library. And a 2-2 two, two Haster that makes 1-1 one, one Hasters doesn't seem very good for me either. Let's just give them the expensive stuff that they might not be able to play, I guess? Until next turn? <laughs> That's still bad, but they do have the land, so they get to play something. Okay. But it's scary to attack, I think. Oh, you can enlist! Oh, no. I forgot this has enlist. This is horrible. No, I was, I was in a lot more trouble than I thought back then. <laughs> but if I have, like, some kind of cheap removal for this somehow, or if I draw a trample buff trick? I don't know. I don't think it's enough damage. Okay, I didn't draw it anyway. Maybe they forget to block.
Yeah, so, I mean, okay, big mistake with the... Was that Elder Dragon War, I think, is what that one was? Or was that... There's a Red Saga that's like Elder Dragon War, and there's another one that is like Totia Declares War. Oops, that searched wrong. In DMU, is there a red card of type Saga, please? Type Saga. Oh, I typed the wrong color. Yeah, the Elder Dragon War is the one that does two damage to each thing. The Yoshia Declares War just like sucks and limited. Can't play this, no, no forests. This is slow, but oh, this is the first time even drawing this card, huh? I'm gonna throw away the bite down. Yeah, anyway, the, the mistake with the Elder Dragon War was pretty serious. Because that, that combat trick would have been very useful to still have, or it would have been useful to slow them down uh, by having them not get the other effects quite as early. Okay, we are in for a game. They're not going to care if I have a trick up, or if I have mana up for a trick. Yikes. Green Widow top deck? No. That's pretty good, though. All right, I think actually we're in okay shape, right? The red deck hasn't really done much, or the Boros deck, I should say. And we have just like a pretty good game plan after this of playing big dudes. That attack is safe because I have lightning strike if they try to trick me. And it's worthwhile because we're racing. Well, I don't know, we might not be. This could very well be a control sort of thing. Uh, I mean, lightning striking this is not 100% crazy, but I don't think it's very good. I think I'd rather just play the Defiler of Vigor. Like, they can use this maybe to buff their Baird, but I really don't care. Or to activate Baird, I should say. This looks like more of a black splash. Ooh. Nice. So I can't play both of these even if I use the Defiler's ability. But if I use the ability... Actually, maybe I want the counters on the Menace Dude, and then I... Yeah, I don't have much in list, and a 6-6 six, six is big enough. This is when you cast it, right? Yeah, so it won't go on the creature you're playing. But, uh... Just play this. I don't need to pay life. And I have no attacks at the moment. But I was thinking the counter on this matters a lot more than a counter on this, probably. So I wanted to get this one down first, even though it's a little bit weird mana-wise. Okay, that resolves. Now, I can't Lightning Strike this right now, because they would respond by blowing up their soldier with the horse ability. And then this would get a plus one, plus one before I could kill it. Once again, I don't have to pay life this time because I have just Lightning Strike available and enough mana to keep it available. I don't see any reason to attack.
But this only goes once per turn, so the first time this triggers, I can spawn by lightning striking it, which I think will probably be a good idea. Okay, go ahead. Step two, I assume? Or maybe three. Yeah. I have reach. I'm gonna try this. Maybe they have some trick, but it's gonna cost enough mana that Lightning Strike will win. Okay, they just didn't see the reach. Got them. Tyler Vigor, pretty good card. Everybody knows that, but there you go. We finally got to play it. And are we at four? We are at four. So we almost got our money back. I mean, and if you include the dailies, of course, we're, we're net plus. So that's nice. I mean, I would like to do more, but this is a satisfactory result for me, especially given how unsure I was about how to draft this color pair and also how I didn't seem to get good cards for it. Or I didn't get enough two drops, basically. We, we've won only those games where opponents let us get to like five mana without bothering us, <laughs> I think. This is a great hand. I have, uh, well, okay, I mean, there are better things hands. Um, I don't, don't have anything to do till four, but that's kind of this deck's uh, milieu. It's it's not... Milieu is the wrong word there. It's um, how, it, how it always goes. Alright, there you go. See, you just have to luck into drawing the Green Widow. And we're still in bad shape, by the way. Against a red-white deck that played something on turn two. But they didn't play something on turn one. So I think we have some chance with a good three, four, five curve to come back. And they're just playing a two drop on three, so that's probably good. If they attack here, am I blocking? Probably. I want them to spend their combat trick. This creature is not so important that I'm gonna like. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna have enough mana to do anything other than just like keep blocking. I'm happy for them to spend a combat trick instead of developing whatever they'd rather do. Oh, wow, that's great. They two for one themselves on a card that comes back from the graveyard. It was cheap for them. But they're really pushing... Oh, wow. I was going to say, really pushing for board presence, but they're they're whiffing, too. This is fantastic. This, obviously, is the creature you want to block two ones with. Um, but I think my life... It's worth protecting my life total and slowing them down, right? See, they, they would have played this last turn if they hadn't had to spend the, the Flowstone Infusion. That would have been much better for them. So when it becomes tapped... Their domain is three, so this would be a five, four. That's bad. But I have a four, five I can play. Oh, or a six, six. That's even better. They're really looking for enlist to make this um, get tapped in some other way without having to attack with it. Good card. I don't think it's good enough. Well, these two together could be a problem. Ooh, look at that. I have an 8-8. So... I mean, I want kind of to bite down on Rada, which I think is the only thing keeping them in any kind of good shape. But I think it's better to just develop another creature and pass. Red, green, white is not going to have much that can kill an 8-8. Destroy evil, I guess, would be the card, right? That would be pretty strong. But I have a 4-5, so... Whoa! They're doing it!
I'll take five or seven if you want. Jaya's Fire Nato next? That would be something. Elder Dragon War. Okay. No problem. I have Bite Down. But I can see why that would look like a very strong play. And it, it is. Um, although I do have a 4-3 Reach that I can play anytime I want. Maybe I don't Bite Down. Maybe I just pass. Attack with a 4-5? Could attack with a 6-5. But I like having my 2-5 back. Oh, it comes back tapped. I'm so dumb. I think it's probably wrong to take the four damage. I don't know. I think bite down is too important. This trade is fine. I can take four damage. That's pretty good. it's Rada. I wish I could bite down the Rada this turn, but I can't. Biting down on this is pretty stupid, having like just played this 4-3. I guess I need to bite down next turn, right? When they attack with this plus Rada for lethal. Good. I was hoping for a land. Because then I can play a 5 drop and still have Bite Down available. If I enlist this, it gets in for 12. But then I, I'm a little short blockers, I think? I don't know. Maybe not. I'll have another Morrow back. This is blocking the Flyer. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's get in for 12. Threaten lethal next turn. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I can't wait till they attack. Because... I'm biting down Rada, not the dragon, right? No, I can bite down the dragon and then just block Rada. Yeah. Depends how aggressively they want to attack, but... Oh, right, they can't even attack with Rada this turn. Right. Runic shot that. Well, I can't do anything about that. So go ahead. Makes it harder to threaten lethal next turn, for sure. Okay, and I'm going to bite down on Rada. I could bite down on the dragon, I guess. Maybe that is better. But then I should have done it a, a while ago. The dragon is a problem, because if they give it, like, any buffs, I'm in trouble. This, like, whatever. It gives something plus three plus three. Who cares? I have Maros, right? Uh, 
Okay, so I took some damage, kind of, like, not exactly for no reason, but, and it, it just turned out not to be good. Almost played this land like an idiot. Okay, I'm out of Thrill of Possibilities, so playing lands is now no longer an idiot play. Does it give Trample? Oh, it does. Oh. What if I just attacked with, like, everything? Well... I mean, shouldn't we be pushing for lethal here? They don't have any tricks. Not enough mana. No colors, right? So I can... Just what's on the board is how they could possibly live. How can that work, right? They're going to gain two life, presumably. Uh... Block the 10 with... I think, yeah, this has to be lethal. I guess maybe I should just attack with all of them. But no, making a 10 power trampler is better than making the 8 power guy start trampling. Okay, so we're getting in for four. They're not even going to heal. Okay, got them. So, I don't know. Like, not biting down on the dragon, or waiting to bite down on the dragon, cost me four life. And I won, so in that sense, it was a successful play. Was it a good play? I kind of paid for life to give myself the option later of whether to bite down on that or on something else. And I decided to bite down on it anyway, and the four life premium was just like an insurance payment that didn't give me any money. But like, was it, was it reasonable to take out that insurance? I don't know. Uh, I think probably it was wrong because I don't know. Yeah, because like I eventually decided that if they could buff the dragon, I'd be in huge trouble and I should just kill it. Um, and at the time, I was thinking about whether to bite down it for the first time. I didn't really think about them buffing it. I was like, look, I have a flyer or a reach creature that takes care of it. Why do I need to bite it down when they could have a real threat? Anyway. We won. Those Maros, man. Pretty good. I think, I think Dominar United is a decent set. I like it. You know. Kamigawa was very good. Um, Nuka Penna and Baldur's Gate, pretty awful. This one is certainly in between, but closer to Kamigawa than to the other two. Um, it's 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 good. It has a decent number of interesting archetypes. There are not that many bombs where you just like play them and instantly win the game. They're like big cards where you're in good shape if you play them, for sure, which is kind of just like part of how magic always is. Um, but they're usually not game-winning all by themselves, even if you have an answer. Whereas in like Crimson Vow, there were cards that's like, oh, I played this card, you have an answer, too bad, you die anyway. <laughs> like Dreadfeast Demon, right? Wait, pretty sweet hand, I have a two drop. Two mana, three, two. Two minute three three trampler, I should say. What a card.
Now, it's only plus two, plus two. If it were plus three, plus three, I could actually use it to get out the monstrosity this turn. I think that would be a bad play, but it's like an interesting thing you could do. What is opponent doing? Is it? Okay. All right, I'll blow that up. Shore up would be great, but this is fine. All right, we love Morrow. We're just looking for another land now and we win the game practically. I mean, I don't I don't have my blue yet, but it's still a great card. And I have a huge lead on the board. And you know what? Even if I miss a land, I can play a 5-5 Trample instead. This is obviously, like claiming I have a combat trick. We'll see if they believe me. Or if they... They probably... Okay, they not only do they believe me, they're choosing not to make me cash it in. Maybe I don't have a 4-drop and the combat trick is all I could do with this turn. Something they could hope for. Didn't work out. Okay, got him. Well, that was the fastest game this deck had, I think. Just a good two drop, removal on three, a good four, and another good four drop played on turn five. I mean, okay, it's an eight drop, but you play it as like a four or a five most of the time. I mean, lightning striking their two two didn't end up being all that great. I could have held on to it for a like bigger card, but. I can't always remove a bigger card. <laughs> Zelda body, body princess. Okay, I like your style. Um, this is a really tough hand to keep. I can play a two-two, but after that, like things are really up in the air. Like, am I gonna get two forests by turn four? I have to draw them two, two, three, and four, and then I'm gonna want another land. Uh, I don't think I can keep this. Yeah, because, like, I have, what, nine green sources? So I draw one a quarter of the time. I'm asking to hit one three time, two times out of three? That's, like, insane. Well, no. I only need one forest and another land. I draw land about half the time. A little less. But I'm asking to hit one more than half the time, and for one of them to be a specific color, which I think is just crazy. Okay, opponent also mulligans. That's good. I'll keep, and once again, throw back the bike down. These are great cards to start with. You could put back a mountain, but I have Morrow, so I think I want to try to actually hit five. Simic. Or, I mean, could be just Domain, could be like a lot of things. I wish you were a Green Widow, but okay, I'll probably get to um, Lightning Strike their 3 drops, so that's not going to be too bad of a turn. Oh, what are these colors? This is, um, I know this one. It's the, um, it, uh, Sultai. Yeah. I don't get to Lightning Strike their 3-drop, as it turns out. Still begging for a land. Wow. Okay, hit the land. Uh, I think it's better to have a 6-6 six, six than it is to have a 4-5 that they can't block right now. 
Oh no, it's a 4-5 enlist. Okay, I'll take it. You know what? Let's enlist here, see if they're, like, scared to block. They won't be. You know what? Let's not do that. This is stupid. All it does is get my creatures tapped in case they have, like, a runic shot or something. Not that that's likely, but they could. Okay. Good. Getting in for six. Oh, I don't know if I should play the Morrow against this deck when they've left up all this mana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just wait. I'm doing fine on the board. I'll keep a lightning strike and my mana. I don't know, maybe I'm a wimp, but I don't want this to get essence scattered. I think that's a serious possibility. Now I don't have to worry about it. I could lightning strike that. Oh, there's their white mana. And they did have a runic shot. So that's something I was worried might happen, obviously. I mentioned it when I was attacking with these guys. Or thinking of attacking with them. And they had an essence scatter as well, or they just drew it. So I think this decision worked out. It's a shame they get to kill this, but, you know, it did what it could. If they'd had white on the board, would I have considered not attacking to make sure that it gets in for 10 once? I don't think so. I think that would be bad. I don't think I lightning strike this 2-2. It just sucks. And I don't play the land either. I want to be able to throw a possibility out. Where's your red mana? Okay, Terra's good. They can't counter this. Uh, do I swing with this? I guess so. Oh no, of course. Hmm. Eh, I mean, the 2-2 gets blocked here pretty comfortably. Sorry, the 8-2 gets blocked here. Maybe that's why I should have lightning struck this, is because I was planning to have a just be a giant attacker. I think I forgot what enlist is. Yeah, I think not liking stri lightning striking their 2-2 was actually a mistake. You're lucky I don't have a combat trick. the hell is this? Oh, this is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. No. That's pretty cool. Although, <laughs> I should lightning strike this this turn, I guess. This game is close, I think. Yikes. They still don't have red, so that's nice. But that's a scary creature. Wow. 
good card. Um, this, I mean... I think I attack like this. Okay, I'll trade for Niel, that's fine. Okay, yeah, pretty good for you. Like, very good, actually? Oh, please. All right, I'm in very bad shape now. That destroy evil really got me. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have attacked with the tutu? They lost an 8-8 now. Four four reach. How do you like them apples? I mean, we've by no means won this game, but it's looking a lot better than it was a second ago. This is also great. I think I swing with the eight eight. They have to triple block to get a good trade against it. They don't really want to do, but they also don't want to take eight. I don't think it matters which of these lands I kill. <laughs> you have another! Okay. Great. Good for you. Hmm, boo. So, what do we do here? I think attack with the 5-5 five five is right. It just it just trades for a single land though, you know? Maybe it's not right. Yeah, I wanna wait till I have a trick. I don't think there's much need to play this. I might as well bluff a trick. No, if I had a trick, I would have attacked. I could be trying to make many attacks, but the problem is, like, that doesn't do enough. Their, their life total is too high. And they're kind of guaranteed to... Oh, okay. I mean, is this something? I guess it's something. It still just trades for land, but it makes a 1-1? I guess that sucks, actually. They're kind of guaranteed to outpace me, un unless I can kill Tatiova somehow, which... Is there even removal left in the deck? Have I played Bite Down yet? Oh, it's on the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, this is something. I do have to attack, because every card they draw is gas. It's either a land or a spell, and those are both insane. And pretty soon they're going to be able to overwhelm my flying blockers, right? I don't need a 1-1. One, one. I do need to not draw this. So 
So how big is this? 4-4 four, four, trample haste? Well, I don't need the haste. The trample. The 4-4 four, four is the important part. Okay. So I'm getting in for what? 9? I could add 4 and make it... Um, more than that. How much more? 13. Just couldn't brain, sorry. Or I could save this, kill another creature, and keep, and still get in for one more. I think that's the way to go, because if I let this die, I'm just like, I don't know, not really doing enough. Now we're kind of both in peril, and that's the way I like it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I could have attacked with this as well, but I was worried. Ah! What? We win! We win! It's incredible! I worried if they didn't... Well, I, don't know. I think it probably was right to attack with it, because like I had enough that if they didn't block many creatures, then they would have a a lethal counterattack against me, but I guess that maybe isn't realistic. If I attack with all of this, right, that's threatening 18 plus my combat trick is 22, they have to block like a fair amount. And they don't have good trades really anywhere. I'm kind of surprised they conceded here. Is this really enough to... Maybe with the Tramplers it is, and the Menace. If they bricked completely somehow, I'm not sure how you could. Lands are good, spells are good. Maybe these are exclusively red spells. <laughs> okay, well, you know, first uh, premier draft. Nice seven win. Uh, what are these colors? Gruel. Gruel kind of mid rangey aggro thing? I don't know. I guess it's more mid range, right? But. This is just like big creatures dot JPEG, right? I ended up getting a couple. Oh, there was another bite down in the deck that I could have drawn. A couple of decent two drops near the end. Not as many as I wanted. But really, the whole game was like fours and fives. Mostly fives. Actually, you know, I can't be too mad about these guys. They were pretty solid. They're not good cards, but they were what this deck needed. Uh, more than whatever I cut for them, which was more five drops, right? Yeah, Elfheim Worm, Fire Nato, Outrider. Yeah. Okay, well, congratulations to me. I'm a genius, and I got uh, a profit of 7,000 gems. Incredible. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.